My master. <laughs> Safe. The scriptures. Sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain. Free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They gave you many chances, yet you spurned each one. Such ingratitude. <laughs> 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 Huh! <laughs> 
fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves.
And so ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. <sighs> this stone has stood for countless days on the mountain since my youth. They said that his remains lie within it. <clears throat> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them. Not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you... There might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuago, he may yet rise again. And a toll life of human or for gold. Nowhere better than a home. We cheat death and ever grow. Huh? Here, you see what bliss my face well, shows. <laughs> Luck's around the corner. Seems like he just fell from a fruit oh, yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. You sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! <laughs> no matter how many times you come around, you're still as mischievous as ever, eh? Hello everybody, welcome. This is Nilnar, and today we're going to play a little Black Myth Wong Kong. So, or Wukong, sorry, said that slightly wrong. So that was a good little introduction we just went through. Uh, basically, Monkey God got tore apart, and we have to, looks like, have to uh, rescue him. I have to say, this is a very beautiful game so far. It's running fairly smooth, even with all that firepower going on up in the sky and the sunlight and the bleed through but uh let's, uh, let's go check out this uh cave i think this is where they want us to go well maybe not okay guess it's this way Last 
must have said something about the rare guest today. You nice and easy to take him out. Now, the button controls don't look to be too right because left stick runs and it said what right button did. That's not what makes you run. So there's a, there's a little controller issue. Okay, kick around. It is that button. I don't know why it had me do a potion at first. There's somebody down there. We'll we go that way or the other way. Let's check what this guy is. Okay. Charge heavy attack. Y button to charge it up and build force. Load the heavy attack, attack the charge, but it'll cost you stamina. <laughs> Our king is truly impressive. Someone is so about to brawl. That's a hot charged one. So we'll open this up. I got five tiny pieces of gold. Okay. That, I think, just the other way around here. And you got light attack with the axe. Yeah, that just took us through this way. Okay, cool. Okay, a little, little sprite where I could tell me where to go. That's kind of cool. Let's check and see what we have here. Oh, what, what you waiting for? Pluck your hair and make an offer. Like, who is he talking to? Or who's talking to him? Mountain have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then, the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. Okay. That's a tough one. Good luck to you. And since Krill Talzin. Let's see what that has to say. Use down shall immediately free the soul from the body and got it back to the last keeper shrine visited for resurrection. Okay. So basically that's how we uh come back. We got Wolf Scout, Wolf Sworn, and Wolf Scout. Okay. What else do we have in the inventory here? Yarn. And the tiny pieces of gold. Okay. This is like our save locations, it looks like. Okay. It's... Okay, don't hit that one. That's like our uh, defense. Okay, hasn't really talked about those yet. I like that attack. Man, this is this beautiful forestry from trees. They look Look really, really well done. I 
I like that tag. And we can gather some stuff here. Purple Lindsay. Assuming it's for some type of crafting. Always take a look. Oh, we got that somewhere. Material used for crafting weapons. Okay. And it can be used to make medicines. Good. So there is crafting. So picking up items you see. Big guy coming up. Kind of looking around here. We know we want to go that way, but let's see what's around here. Might be some more stuff to loot. Okay, we can't go down that way. That won't even let me jump off, okay. There's something loot over here. Frogman here. Froki. Just kind of looking around, to be honest with you. I know where we have to go, but does it mean I don't like to explore? I'm a big explorer type. Okay, we're going pretty far. Let's go. Let's go take care of the guy because I know that's what they want us to do. But I had to look around, see what there was. All right, something here to gather. Here we'll come back through this way at some point. Okay, what do we have up here? I still think this is beautiful. I mean, so like you're walking through a really big area. I don't quite jump out far enough. Thank you. Oh, it's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. Immobilize. Nice. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Yeah, but enough time to throw a hill. Boneheads like this one. Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! 
The young boys these days know no manners. Fear not. Teach them a lesson with your new spell. <laughs> Okay. Oh, roll right into that. He's down. Will and Sparks. Okay. Well, that was intriguing. Learned a little bit more. Okay. Self, Advance, and Sparks. Open Advanced Sparks. Low up to gain Sparks and awaken more abilities and spells. Self, Advance. There's two different levels. You got the uh, foundation and self stance. I'm going to work on the foundation first, and specifically in the stamina department, start that out. Because this is where you get some abilities to dodge and basically help us out. We will work on everything, but this, the foundation, I understand, is where you want to spend most of your time. And yeah, I like dodging, so dodging is going to be important. So we're going to work on that. And we got this spell, the Waken spell. That's the one we're working on. There'll be other ones we will get down the road here. Mobilized spell, I could say. And let's let's move forward. Let's see what else we got to have. Talk too much. Is that a monkey or am I just seeing it? Well, there's two paths to go. Let's go down here and take out the frogs. That's intriguing. I need more uh, skill power here. Hopefully, uh, I'll find a place to heal it up. I'm poisoned and I'm dying. That's not good. There's a lot of stuttering through here. Yeah, this doesn't look good for me. Yep. I knew we were going to pass away. But I had a feeling that was meant to happen. Do an offering. Rest. Travel store. Draw a blazing gift. Oh, this is all. Store, you can buy stuff. Let's see what's in there. All kinds of potions. Ingredients. Okay. Okay. 
This allows you to reset uh, yourself. And then if you have places to go, you can use this to go there. And you can rest. Okay, and now that our potions are up to snuff. And we'll be ready to continue on. But I think this was a good first look. Get us a good idea of what the game's like. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, kind of that souls pack dodge function. But we'll try out a few more episodes of this and see what everybody else thinks. And if you like it, we'll continue on. That, uh, give me a like and a subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.